or more, definitely more clinical than it's tonight. Um, because we had a, you know, probably chances, chances created by both teams are pretty even. Or obviously, we had a lot more shots, we had 18 shots, but obviously, um, so overall, we just, uh, they were more ruthless than we are, and we got punished for that. No, no, he's not injured, no, no. So is it a reaction to before? Well, it's just a, a tactical decision to, to put Ryan on the left side and, and give us yeah. balance that way. Just lastly for me, you obviously sprung a bit of a surprise on everyone with a back four at the start. Can you give, give us your insight into why you made that decision and, and how things work? Um, there's a lot, a lot of reasons why I made that decision. I think... Uh, you know, I think one of the issues in Greece, they, they don't play a 10, they play 4 3 3. And Basaketis, who's their most advanced of the three, he, he drops deep, obviously, to get it on his left foot and switches the play a lot, as he did in Athens. Um, we couldn't get pressure on the ball, and that we're getting, we get our centre backs normally jump, and that's what players that do that. Darrell O'Shea, normally when he plays there, Andrew Mavamadeli, they're very good at jumping. Mm -hmm. And playing, you know, as centre backs jumping out and, and marking midfield players and doing that. Um, but apart from that, I wanted to play with four attacking players. Like I wanted uh, between Ogbenia. Obviously, he wasn't available in in the summer. Ogbenia, but Ogbenia, Smallbone, Ferguson, and Knight, and just try and get make sure we got relevant support with those four players. With Alan Brown to support as the fifth and the full-backs to support as well. I do like to play generally when I'm not playing trade back with seven attacking players, you know, and uh, that's, um, you know, what we aspired to do uh, in the game. Um, so that, that, that was really the reason. Damien, please. Stephen, we know you've made lots of changes in the squad and brought a new generation of players in, but is it becoming harder to make a case that you're making progress with this is a, it's a disappointing night for us. It's a game that you definitely want to win. Greece at home, I think they're, they're, they're a lot better team than people think they are. They've had a lot of wins, obviously, over the last couple of years, but technically they're good. They keep the ball very well. I, I, you know, and they defended their box well on crosses. We put a lot of crosses in the second half and they defended well. I do think they had a, a vulnerability at times uh, that we didn't punish. Um, and uh, that's disappointing from our point of view, I think. <coughs> so, yeah, um, it is definitely a game that we would have wanted to win, um, and it's a disappointing result to lose lose at home to Greece. Yeah. Ed Stephen, you, you asked for the intensity of the Dutch match from the players tonight, but what do you think it didn't really materialise the same that same sort of? Uh, uh, you know, again, we, uh, you know, we had brilliant play early on with Chidozi and the connection and, and, and will for, for, for the chance, good chance. You know, we have a great chance to take the lead in the first couple of minutes. And Evan, after that, hits the post. So, if Oydrum goes in, it obviously, it looks like we have brought the level of intensity, but uh, they had a period of pressure because they're good at retaining possession, to be fair. And um, Basitica is always a threat with a shooting from distance, so shoot, shooting from anywhere. But certainly, um, the goal itself is a bit of a ricochet. It is an exceptional cross, but um, the fact that we, we um, Jack and Mack was unmarked in the box is, is, was disappointing from my point of view, you know, as manager, and that, that was uh, that hurt us. He obviously powered his header into top corner, and you know, that was a disappointing goal from, from our point of view. Just in terms of the attacking unit, Evan, I suppose he was, he was isolated a lot during the game. Yet there was no change to any sort of attacking formation until the 70th minute. Is that a conversation that you don't have the quality on the bench to influence games, or what was your thinking there that you left yeah, just 20 minutes to go chasing that 2 0? Yeah, well, I think. Uh, um, 
I think it was 65 minutes, was it? You can't take on, was it Michael and Callum? Yeah, so. But I think uh, the, the um, yeah, we we were having a very good period, and not, you know, in that like we were dominating the second half, and um, you know, obviously Ryan Manning was doing well, and Liam Scales on the left, and 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 Jason Knight was getting a lot of switches of play, but. They were defending a bit deeper, putting crosses in. I know a lot of our chances were coming from set plays and things like that, but we still had chances to score. And um, obviously, two players that we put on who are our most creative players available, really, at that stage, haven't played much uh, recently. And Michael, Mike hasn't played at all, and Callum has played not too much because after his injury. So they, um, but they, you know, Mikey, Mikey gave us a lot down the left when he came on, to be fair, for the period he was on. And um, I think, listen, I think we started really well, had a couple of chances. Um, they had a period when they got on top and uh, they obviously controlled the game just to force, we, we, need to, we, need to, we need not to give that free header away. We had a lot of the play then towards the end of the first half, a lot, particularly down the right hand side. Jay, a high press, Jason Knight intercepts. He's in on goal. You're thinking he's in on goal. Just a heavy touch, just took it away. Liam Scales whips across the front. Shadozi Ogbenya, you think he's going to gamble and just nick that in, and it doesn't quite happen. We just had a lot of great shots just gone wide from our midfield players, just looking for that, just a bit more accuracy there from that point of view. I think we lost set plays that maybe weren't of the quality that we would have wanted, but we a lot of set players, and then all of a sudden they concede on the 45th minute. It was a killer, killer for us to concede that goal because we, um, we were having a good period then. We were having a good period in the game, and then to concede it, uh, you know, so the two and a half time leaves it difficult. But I actually thought that we played well second half uh, for long periods. Um, our ball retention was good, we dominated, but just a lot of crosses because they were a little bit deeper but they defended our box very well <coughs> I know you can say we didn't create we, we had chances um, and we had say set goalkeeper saves and things off the line um, but we just we missed the target a few times as well on, on strikes um, Callum Robinson and just, just wide uh, one or two others um, so it wasn't enough. It's a disappointing night, disappointing result, and Greece were clinical. Uh, at, uh, you know, taking their opportunities, and we weren't. Okay, that ends this section. We're going to the little mouthpiece. Thank you.